ended up with two, we should have five or six. And ended up being a snipe hunt. Alright, what is up guys? It is September 26th. Um, and I'm starting to think about ducks. Uh, we teal hunted a couple times, did, didn't do much. Uh, but ducks are on my mind. I've been deer hunting. But I've got about 10 old decoys i've got actually another dozen of these old cabela's northern flight uh they're the rubber kind if you're looking for an affordable decoy that's the way to go i think it's like 45 bucks for a dozen i ran this this is my third season on these but as you can see they're just they're just they don't look great anymore they're they're all beat up and got a couple old flambos too but they're all beat up and, and just need refinished. So um, where I hunt a lot here in South Mississippi and in Louisiana, um, there's lots of coots. So what I'm going to do is paint these black uh, with white beaks, make them coots. I'm going to show you all the process of doing it. Uh, this um, rubbery uh, material they're made out of does really well with holding paint these don't do quite as well the hard plastic but this does super good because it's just i don't know it just adheres to it much better than than these but i'm gonna uh show you all the process we're gonna wash them and then uh paint them and i'll show you all how i do it and from from washing them to to clear coating them so yeah i hope you all enjoy starting out what I'm gonna do one by one all I did was put me some water in a bucket I've got a brush just old car washing brush put a little dishwashing liquid in there it works just fine and just give them a quick scrub that's just gonna release all that dirt and grime on them make them look a little better and help that paint have something to stick to so it doesn't stick to just dirt do that one. And we'll do all of them. guys so now we've washed them and they've dried as you can see they're washed and dried i've got them just laying on this trailer because i can paint over it. it doesn't matter if it gets paint on it but i found the easiest way to do this let me switch y'all up all right guys so i've got three cans of this rust-oleum flat black we're gonna do two coats of that yeah we're gonna do two coats of this and then what i'll finish it with is this duplicolor trim and bumper paint this really just seals it off flat black uh this stuff works really good i've used it this oh man i've probably done this three to four times over the course of my life for these decoys doing the same thing and uh this stuff works it's got some anti-fading stuff and it just it works really good so if you can find some of this it's good if not just clear coat it with flat clear sealant but the best way to do this I found, get your guards bag, put it over your arm so you don't get paint all over you. Grab it by the keel and go to painting. Like I said, we're gonna do two coats of this and then a coat to that. Uh, not gonna sand it or anything. I found that that doesn't really help that I can tell. Uh, these decoys have so much uh, roughness to them, the paint really holds. So yeah, we're gonna do one coat and then I'll time lapse the rest. All 
I guess. There's one coat. I'm gonna finish doing up the rest of these and uh, I'll get back to y'all. All right guys, so I finished putting two coats of paint on every decoy. You can see, they look really good. Two coats, that's gonna hold pretty good. But just for safety, I like to put this trim and bumper paint. Uh, it really sticks to it good. It's a wide, it sprays a wide band, so you don't have to use much. But this seals it off really good, I think. So I'm gonna do one coat of this on all these decoys. bumper paint you've got to let that dry for about 30 minutes that stuff takes a, a little bit to cure it's best to do it on uh, low humidity sunny windy days just like today that stuff I got them sitting in the Sun and they dried up fairly quick um, so for the beaks as you know coots have white beaks um, all I do is I take a piece of cardboard you can use a paper plate I just cut a little hole in it that's all you got to do you can use a paper plate piece of cardboard what I'll do is I'll slide it in just like that over the beak. Just slide it over the beak like that. Take my white paint. Okay. You got it over the beak. And then I'm just gonna hit it with a few stripes. Doesn't take much. Now I'll do probably two coats. Let that dry real quick and then hit it with another another coat and there you go you want to let that dry and then just pull off your cardboard and boom there it is that's all you have to do to impersonate a coot right there that will literally do just as good as any coot decoy you can buy and it's a whole whole lot cheaper you can buy these decoys right here brand new for $45 a dozen on Cabela's or Bass Pro and convert them to coot decoys. And I'm pretty sure you're going to pay $45 for six uh, coot decoys that are from the manufacturer. So, yeah, that's how it goes right there. <laughs>